Okay, this is a uh, rocket stove with aluminum heat shield and fiberglass insulation. Uh, we tried starting it with, uh, had a hard time getting it started because the, it rained and the wood was wet. But um, right now, this is uh, the effect. And the insulation has definitely made a thousand percent difference in it. Um, I also opened up the holes in the bottom. I added more in the bottom for the draft. The uh, you can see in this video compared to the last ones. It it's really going good. The wood or the metal in the firebox is actually a bright cherry red. It's insulated by the uh, if you can see it's kind of hard to see see that glowing red back there. Insulated by the fiberglass insulation. Um, using regular plain old-fashioned fiberglass we can get a picture from up top without melting the camera there we go you see it's just like a tornado inside there a tornado of fire it's actually still quite a ways above this it's pretty hot um, I must say that so far we are uh, having success. We have materials to make uh, two more, possibly three, three more stoves using this uh, two by four steel channel. Um, the two quarter inch by uh, two inch steel uh, bar to make the uh, cooking grate. There is uh, one two by two foot long tube I've uh, welded together. Um, my welding skills will leave a little bit to be desired so I'm not sure if we're going to be using that one. Um, usually I have someone else do the welding for me but anyways you can see you get up close inside here you can can't really even feel that much heat radiating off the, radiating off the side this time. Um, I must say the improvements of this have been quite uh, dramatic. As you can see, we will pull back here so you can see if see no smoke. Um, you see some black scorch marks on the side there. We used uh, paint thinner to uh, try and get it lit. We used a little bit too much paint thinner today, and some of it leaked out and and caught fire on the sides. Um, this normally this wouldn't happen on the finished product because of the uh, the um, it'd be better quality, better weld. This was just kind of tack, tack welded, uh, spot welded in place, and there you go. So it's a little, it looks a little crude. We're just trying to get the measurements and dimensions right. Um, basically, we've been cooking for uh, probably about 15, 20 minutes. The fire's been going. Um, we did use some paper. And uh, don't use paper to start this. You get a little bit of fly ash in here. Um, not good. But uh, I must say that this version of the rocket stove, based on the A-Postal design, is uh, a success. Um, the next uh, video coming will be a... Uh, production version. We're going to weld up uh, two by four, the two by four tube and uh, our channel into uh, tubes. It'd be four inch by four inch tubes. Uh, we're going to use state, uh, galvanized steel on the outer shield to uh, save money. It's not direct contact with heat so we should be okay. Um, and then it's going to be pop riveted instead of welded so we don't have any issues with um, poor quality welds. My uh, spot welder is not uh, really the greatest or it has a big throat so it's kind of hard to get it completely welded but uh, and also there will be a modification of the cooking grate, the grate that the pots sit on and uh, we will have a cap over top of the, uh, the fiberglass insulation to uh, make that look all nice and pretty. That will be um, 
probably stainless, half millimeter stainless, and cut on the CNC machine. The outer port would be cut on the CNC machine, CNC plasma table, and the grill, the cooking grate, will be cut on the CNC table, and uh, also modifications to the uh, grill in the in the firebox, make it larger, so just the smaller holes, probably multiple holes, or I'll make uh, elongated ovals for the, uh, the to draw the air and uh, I think that is it so see you next time here at open source resilient living the open first open source shop here in the Philippines